Hello, ma'am. So let's start, ma'am, the section number two. So you have written an excellent paper in uh, decision sciences, I believe. So will be really great that if you can share that paper and the structure of the paper you can share with us. Sure, sir. Okay. So this is a paper, a measure of scale, a measure of throughput orientation, scale development, and nomological validity. So validation. This paper appeared in Decision Sciences in 2017, sir. So this paper, in this paper, I'll share first of all about the very first step, which is the scale development. So how to go about developing a scale? So for that, what I'll do is I'll show you the the flow charts. So in that flow chart, we have clearly written that you know how we went in order to develop the items. So very first requirement. Uh, so in this case is that a scholar should be clear about whatsoever writing is available on that particular concept. So in our case, it was the theory of constraints. And um, because I've already shared that it was Professor Mahesh Gupta, you know, who had considerable understanding of his paper, of his, uh, of his various papers on theory of constraints and other writings also on theory of constraints because of his help. Because again, sir, we should not miss any item. So the point here is we should not miss any item, which is actually very significant. So uh, you can see that scale development, the very first step is that what we did first item search through literature review. So that time, you know, that Scopus, index journals, such type was not available 2015. So, I mean, manually we went through each and every paper which was available on theory of constraints. So item search, so when we went through all the papers on theory of constraints, so what we did, we extracted the items which are available items because you know uh, that i i made it clear that you know this this particular theory of constraint it has three main components one is the mindset mindset talks about the employees satisfaction from the job and the job security also and it also covers the customers satisfaction with regard to the products or the services offered by the company the second is the measurement. So measurement has basically three further uh, subscales under it. One is the operating expenses. Second is the inventory is there. So, I mean, measurement is purely from the operations point of view. So, uh, I mean, for the non-operation people, it is difficult to understand also. The third is the methodology. Methodology comprises of the five focusing steps. Uh, so because we had a clear understanding and there, there were a large number of papers on theory of constraints, because of that only we got an idea that we you know, we can always think of extracting the items for these three M's, mindset, measurement, and methodology. So the very first step under scale development comprises of item search through literature review. And uh, there was a paper written by uh, Gupta and Boyd. This Professor Mahesi Gupta only and Lynn Boyd. So they, they had written a paper that was an excellent paper. And we got, you know, more understanding regarding these three M's from that paper only. So first was item search. We looked for you know, all the items related to theory of constraints. Then we initiated the focus group discussion with five marketing academicians. Now, you would be wondering, this is a theory of constraints in operations management technique. So why I discussed with the marketing academicians? So why I discussed with the marketing academicians? Because theory, as per, as per the, you know, the researchers, the academicians or the scholars who are working on theory of constraint, they say it is nothing, but it is a commonsensical thing. Theory of constraint is that every organization, they should, manager should understand that you, we, we should not look for many constraints. The core constraint would always remain this one. There would be only one core constraint and the other would be the undesirable effects. So uh, for that, you know, I just, when I said that, you know, I contacted the marketing academicians because it is a common sensical theory. So I just want to know whether everybody can understand this theory or not. So when I developed those items, so those items, because, you know, ultimately we had to approach the branch managers. And in this case, the banking was the sector. Banking sector was the context here. So, so we had to contact the branch managers. So branch managers means I thought that, you know, because I being a marketing student, so I thought that let me ask the marketing academicians, would they be able to understand and interpret the items the way we want? Because the branch managers, they are not the operations management people. It is not a manufacturing context where the operations and management people can be contacted and they would be able to provide us with the relevant answers to it. 
just to get an understanding whether the item would be interpreted item would be understood in the same spirit or not so that's why i contacted the five marketing academies where in you know i i personally i interviewed them i asked each and every item and i got their response also to each and every item and how they are actually how they are understanding that item was important for me to judge that whether all the items they are making sense or not and more particularly it is not only the understanding which is required it is the way they are interpreting so that was more important for us then there after the interviews with the three toc theory of constraint experts this was done by professor mahesh gupta he being a person of operations management he conducted the interviews uh, uh, i mean with those uh, three people those who are actually expert on theory of constraints thereafter i conducted the interviews with five branch managers because ultimately we have to approach the branch managers in this case we had to approach the branch managers only for collecting the data this is a management thinking approach and that's why you know the we the if we contact the employees or if we contact the customers that would not have served our purpose so equally important is that who would be your respondents to whom you would contact so in before before actually going for the pre testing of your questionnaire also what is required is you should you should have in depth interviews with them so that you know you you would come to know whether they are understanding your items if there is a pool of suppose 50 items in your questionnaire so out of 50 items are they understanding all the 50 items or is it 34 items which they could understand and for the remaining item they say that we do not know because because they are the people who know whether th these items they are actually making sense in this particular sector or not so we contacted five branch managers so this was you know after contacting the five marketing academies certain changes were made to the items then after professor mahesh gupta contacted the three toc experts then also we we had made the changes to it so then i contacted the branch managers five branch managers and i you know conducted in depth interviews with them so they then there also you know we made changes to our questionnaire thereafter then we went for first pre test with the 10 branch managers and the academicians also so 10 branch managers separately they were contacted and 10 academicians they were separately contacted for this purpose and in this when i said academicians we did not go for the marketing or the operations any person who is available and who is ready to provide the feedback to uh, on our question so that was the main thing in this case so we contacted them and because certain changes then also they suggested certain because these when you talk about these 10 branch managers they were not the branch managers to whom i contacted earlier so what i did then after this pre test uh, um, pre testing done with the 10 branch managers and the 10 academicians certain changes were incorporated in the question and that's why we had gone for the second pre test second pre test was required by because of the changes suggested by the branch managers and the academicians then in the second pre test we contacted 50 branch managers large number of branch managers they were contacted in the second pre test so when i say branch managers so in this case we contacted only the branch managers not the assistant branch managers because branch manager is the one who has to take the responsibility of the of the functioning of the entire branch and we want to know from him that if at all there would be any constraint so how would they how would they identify the constraint and how would they go about removing that constraint so that was the main focus and thereafter we went for the content validity assessment so content validity assessment was done Uh, after these exercises of you know literature review from where we got the items there after then we contacted the marketing academicians followed by the toc experts then the branch managers finally the two step in two steps we uh, we had performed the pre testing of the questionnaire so this rigorous procedure was followed before you know we we were, we were confident that the scale whatever scale we have developed that is actually very meaningful it comprises of meaningful items only and we have not left out any item which is and you know in case of branch managers they suggested us to include items regarding one or two activities which are being performed by the by the these uh, by the branch managers also so which were not there early in our questionnaire so it, though it was a very rigorous procedure but it actually helped us to come out with us uh, with the scale you know which was uh, which was inclusive of all the items regarding mindset measurement and methodology yes, sir
So ma'am, uh, we can stop here and then we will start with the second phase, that is the sample domain and the third phase onwards. Okay. Yes. Sure. Thank you.